Hey, 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 Glam Squad. To my new subscribers, like and subscribe and join the Glam Squad. And to my returning ladies, thank you for coming back. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Now, let's get into this. hi ladies welcome to another video so today we'll be recapping and reviewing the never ever met episode two season one so it picks wait wait hold a minute hold a minute house rules y'all please come in hit like okay hit like this is how we you know throw us into the algorithm okay so hit like and let's talk about it okay let's get into it for all my new subscribers hey girl welcome to the glam squad to my replay gang gang and my subbies hey girl hey let's get into it so cha i hope y'all had a chance to watch episode one so boom 2 40 a.m in the morning right alexis and dom they recap the fight right what i did not know is that producers were there 2 a.m okay so shay was talking to alexis and really trying to have like a heart to heart about her that the person that you see in front of you the person that he's showing you that he is is not basically the person that you've been talking to six months because shay said if you have to pick up a pot to defend yourself against a man this is who he is so he over here was selling out in the kitchen talking about is she gonna flirt i'm finna flirt i'm finna do the same damn thing after she apologized now we didn't see the part where she apologized but she said she apologized but he continued to escalate the fight so the producers told dom after you know they pulled them apart and kind of you know you know put them in a hotel just so for the night he can cool off but to me in my mind they already made the decision that they were going to kick him off because baby the way this man looked like he possibly be martelling behind closed doors mm -hmm, and i digress so boom we get to the next part which is shay and josh okay so there shay is talking to the girls um, the guys is playing chess this morning now, right? So some of the people were in their beds or just probably wasn't trying to, you know, hear what's going on. And some people were trying to get it on because this is their first time meeting up. You know what I'm saying? They were knocking, knocking, knocking the boots. Hey. <laughs> so the girls were discussing the fight, trying to let Alexis know, like, y'all, th this was wrong. This was wrong. Now, what shocked me is Aaron, he's, I think, 35. Aaron says he was in an abusive relationship where the female was the one that was doing the, uh, okay? So, he says that he has daughters and he's talking to Alexis heart to heart. I love this conversation because it opens up the world to other women who are out there also watching the show that think that physical is love. You know what I'm saying? I love how he opened up and made and let people know it's not only men that do the okay, also women do it too. So basically they were just talking to her and Alexa started to cry, y'all. Hmm. So boom, we in the next phase, right? So Taronda calls Alexis downstairs. They go outside. Mind you, this house is beautiful and I love the scenery. <sighs> Taronda lets Alexis know it's a safe place space she heard about what happened physically last night in the house and she wanted to check on her and make sure girl you good girl you good let's have a talk to talk so she explains um the situation and tried to explain to alexis that you know when a man shows you who he is this is who he is so alexis tries to explain i know we had a good first date this is how us women try to rationalize when we see red flags that what we see could just be a fluke no baby it's a red flag so tarana cuts her off and say no 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 alcohol has nothing to do with this this is this man's character what he shows you so tarana pulls out a, a pre-recorded video of dominic basically apologizing to alexis you know what this negro said yeah do y'all know what this negro said dom said it wasn't that deep what kind of damn apology you literally push her 
held her tight. She had to go grab a pot to try to defend herself. And this Negro says that he's young. He's still trying to get to learn. Um, he still wants them to give it a chance. Um, and hopefully they don't have to leave. It wasn't that deep. This is how a narcissist try to get women to remember the good times, which was only that damn morning. Okay. That damn morning when they first had their date, they've been dating six months online. Crazy. Dominic, for the record, if you hear this, I just want to let you know you are a, a sir and you nigga. I'm just letting you know. So, boom, now we have Sienna and Josh sitting there talking. So, Josh is, I think, 35. Sienna has, uh, he has two children, a four-year-old girl and a 13-year-old boy. And I love how black men speak so passionately about their children. He was like, that's my junior. Like, he really loves his children. I like that. It sounds like he's a very uh, active father in his children's life. So, Sienna, she didn't mention that she had children. But she did mention that she does not mind moving to Florida, even though she's from the Bronx. Now, I ain't finna hold you. She sounds a little aggressive, okay? I don't like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is about her. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it, but I want y'all to remember she says that she does not, put a pin there. She does not mind moving to Florida and blase squase, right? Boom. We on the next scene. Um, Dominic, they play a little clip of Dominic, the buster, talking about the, okay, talking about, oh, he's still young. He has time to learn. Um, he's going to continue to date and meet girls online. I told y'all this was a buster. And Alexis, don't remember the good times? Cut it off, okay? Block this man and move on with your life. You should have told, you should have learned something by this man, two chains that he had in the flip hat going to the side that he was a buster. Do better. So, boom, we have Chris and Sandia, my little Haitian sister. Hey, Sandia. Hey, girl. Hey, remember, Sandia, I do want to get a, an exclusive interview. I just had to throw that in there, right? So, Sandia brings up recapping the situation where um, Chris was in the kitchen selling out to the men, okay? Now, this is very important because in our relationship, all statuses, communication is important. And I'm happy my little sister was explained to, to him how that made her feel. Because he was in that time, I get girls. We're not in a committed relationship. So Sandia confronts him um, about the conversation he was having with the guys. So Sandia said, I felt disrespected. You know, I didn't appreciate the way you were talking. And Chris said he doesn't trust women. And she he's there to gain trust with her. He's there to build trust. So Sandia is basically explaining that listen, it's basically not what you said, it's how you explain it. Um, it's how you say it, right? Which I understand. Bruh, the way you were talking, you sound like you were part of the red kill red pill community and we all haitians and you already know chris i'm gonna be on because you know you was not raised like that by your mama come on now you know how we're raising our haitian community come on now don't be getting on tv and acting brand new okay so saying chris calls sandia emotional okay aka y'all women pay attention to the gaslighting he talking about oh i'm not an emotional dude you know so when they start with the emotional thing you know he kind of clocks out no 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 when you're explaining yourself to a man or explaining how you feel i tell women all the time calm down explain it in without yelling screaming or being aggressive because you want that message to go clearly to him that listen you effing up or you doing good so we all need to learn emotional intelligence and this is something i had to learn y'all after 35 and i love it here okay but don't get gaslighted by a man like chris calling you emotional she did not yell she did not raise her voice sandia was explaining her position and telling you you were disrespectful chris don't be getting me mad with my little sister okay okay Boom, we got Joanna and Aaron. Aaron with the dangling cross earrings that I can't stand, but he's like he has he seems to me like a nice dude, okay? So Aaron is in the hot tub, right? And I think it's Greg that came into the hot tub and 
oh, Greg's, Millie, Millie, Millie and Greg is in the hot tub and she's over there in, um, in the house selling out time out. Oh, he in the hot tub and I ain't finna get in the hot tub. And Greg is like, well, you know, um, you know, black women and their hair and water. Listen, I'ma still get in the water. It's just coming up to my stomach. <laughs> I don't know how to swim, y'all. I don't know how to swim. So, Aaron was saying that he doesn't mind because she's not clingy. Let me tell you, Aaron and Joanna has zero chemistry. I don't know what it is that connected them online for this long. No chemistry. Okay? Boom. Um. So... She came to the outside with Taronda. All the all of them came to the outside with Taronda. I think this is later later the second day. And Taronda explains to them they're all sitting down, right? Um, basically, let me just go back. Dominic and Alexis had to leave. So Taronda told Alexis that she would have to leave because Dominic had to leave and they not finna be having that on their show. And I want to know why y'all still having in a sir like Martel on the show on. Hmm. Yeah, answer that. Riddle me that. Anyway, she went back upstairs, got the ladies um phone numbers, and she left. Boom, we back downstairs, and Taronda is basically telling them they're going to move into the intimate uh, intimacy phase and they're going to be talking about kama sutra it's crazy because after my divorce is what i'm learning about that phase of like the sexual what i like what i don't like girl and it's crazy that how will us women settle for lack of intimacy just to keep a family together or a relationship or marriage okay so, boom, we got Greg and Millie. They decided the position they're going to choose is called the ego. Okay, y'all, I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning with them. So, um, Taronda said that the exercise is for them to, you know, get to know each other and communicate. So, Greg says this is relaxing as they're in a the position. And he feels like he's connecting. And Millie, she's always smiling. I like me some Millie. She has just a good spirit, okay? And then we have Diamond with the Y <laughs> and her boo. They decided to do the split bamboo. Never heard of it, okay? Interesting, okay? Um, So they look very comfortable together. I can't believe they didn't know each other for five years, but I'm still trying to figure out how this man got engaged to somebody else when y'all supposed to be in together for five years. Mm -hmm. Okay, she says that she feels good in the position, and that they're both in control. Yeah, I, I really like the scene with them. I like that diamond. Then we have Sienna and Brandon. Okay, they chose the position called the ship. Okay, listen, I've never heard of this. I've heard of the name Kama Sutra, but I've never heard of these positions and what it entails. Okay, I'm learning too. Thank you, Tarana. Tarana says she seems agitated because she sat on the man the man laid down she sat on him with a with an attitude you know what i'm saying very very upset i don't know i don't know what it is about sienna but sienna sienna be sienna and okay they show no chemistry he's uh put his hand under his head and it's like he's bored how a woman sitting on top of your and you talking about you bored so that says so she says that she feels you know, he even pissed her off even more when he said that. Like, they they give nothing. Then, boom, we got Greg and Millie, which is my favorite couple as so far, right? Second comes Sandy and my little sister, right? With Chris. So now they're sitting in a house. They're having a conversation, a mature conversation, okay? So they're having a conversation about being comfortable with each other. I love how they're communicating. And within any relationship, communication matters. So they're talking about how they like the speed of their relationship and how they're moving in a natural speed, which I very I love, I love, 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 okay? They're my favorite couple, okay? So, boom. We got them back in the house. And, you know, my little sister, Sandia, is downstairs cooking, seasoning some meat. Because y'all know we know how to season meat, right? We know how to cook. We're very domesticated. We were raised to be, all right? So, you know, Sienna comes downstairs. And she wants to continue the private conversation that her and Brandon was having. So, 
she now says remember when i told you i had a pen that she says it the, the damn cameras are around she just said a few minutes ago remember i told y'all earlier in the day that she's comfortable moving to florida right so now she wants to change the narrative and says that she wants him to move to new york OK, so Brandon is trying to explain he has two children, a 13 year old boy and a four year old girl. Like he's very much in his kid's life and he doesn't want to move. He's co-parenting to New York when she already flip flop and said that she was comfortable moving to Florida. Like I can't pinpoint what it is about Sienna, y'all, but Sienna be Sienna. In, OK, and that's what she was doing. Almost like trying to embarrass him in front of the group. So she changed her mind about moving, okay? He says to her, I noticed that you're very inconsistent in your words. And she says, you know what? I don't like when people call me inconsistent because other people have done that. So he was like, so who called you inconsistent? She said other men that she's dated. So she's like that instantly pissed her off when he called her inconsistent. Inconsistent girl. Sienna started Sienna in, right? She started saying, um... You hurting my feeling. She called him and girl, she just came out of nowhere and said, Brandon, you a bitch. I was like, what? You a B. You a B. I was like, ma'am, how many times you're going to call him a B? And to me, it caught me by surprise. So I know it caught Brandon by surprise. She says that, oh, you have kids by multiple people, but yet you want to call me inconsistent. Like she literally was Sienna in, went off on a damn hinge. Because he called her inconsistent. If Brandon that you're dating online called you inconsistent and he don't even know you that long. But you admitted that other men has called you inconsistent and you start berating and calling him the B word. It's an instant no for me. Brandon, leave Sienna and let Sienna Sienna and let her go find a man from the Bronx. Okay, you continue to co-parent and be the good father that you are. Oh my God, she was throwing his children in his face and that how he's, um, how he got two kids with two different women. She's calling him my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Are all Bronx women this aggressive or New York women? I mean, I don't know y'all and all, and I don't want to be judgmental, but Sienna ain't giving y'all a good look. Okay. She's Sienna in. Brandon complained that she, um, she isn't listening and she don't, she just flies off the end. Y'all, emotional intelligence is very important. Sienna needs to be on somebody's damn couch, okay? Because she's Sienna and out here. Sienna heard Brandon talking to um, Millie and uh, Brandon was like, you, you see, but y'all differ. You see how you're listening? And um, Millie is just trying to explain, you know, y'all just getting to know each other. Um, what would you say about if you guys had to leave here? Would y'all, tomorrow, would y'all leave here? Brandon say we would not be leaving together. Brandon. Okay, know your value, okay? Boom. It goes into a commercial break. And guess what, y'all? Own shows a domestic violence hotline. Disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after Martel and Dominic on Own, y'all better do better. And why the hell is Martel coming back second season, CK? So y'all can show this all that y'all want, but y'all parading Martel still on your network? That's a damn problem. Y'all need to have a board meeting with CK because there is no damn reason that y'all is showing the domestic violence hotline and Martel's going to be right back to antagonize his victim. Mm -hmm. I'm getting upset. So, y'all, they show a clip for next season, uh, for next episode, episode three, where the family and friends are going to be coming by. And Greg, I'm sorry, and Brandon was talking about, you know, he want his family to meet Sienna because... It really matters. So, boom, guys. What do y'all think? I really, really, really like episode two. Um, I don't care about online dating because, you know, I think there's serial killers and murders online and I can't do it. But there's a lot of y'all that's doing it. But I like some of the couples. Again, Greg and Millie's my favorite. Second uh, in tow for me is my little sister, Sandia and Chris. So, tell me what y'all think about this episode. But I am very happy that Dominic was sent home. It's so, I'm sorry for Alexis, but some women needed to see this example on television. And I do think instead of, not that Tehran is not doing an amazing job. I think Tony Gaskin should have been on here mm -hmm. or, or, and RC Blake. You know what I'm saying? So, because the women have somebody that they can go to, but I think the men will be more comfortable talking about relationships with a relationship 
from the man. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what y'all think about episode two. Do y'all think that it was good that Dominic and Alexis both were sent home? What do y'all think about the communication going the communication going on with Millie and Greg. So tell me what y'all think. And by the way, we'll be going live either Tuesday or Thursday so we can discuss this on the panel. And I want y'all to come up, okay? And I want y'all to talk about it. So ladies, please like and subscribe, um, share, okay? And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss another upload. So let's talk down in the comments. Check out my shop and bye, ladies. Thank you, ladies, for watching another video. Please like and subscribe and remember to check out my shop. Bye, ladies.